I'm always up to no good. I was hired by this guy in Thorsby to pick up the, the contents of his storage. So we're here in, I forget what town, it's two hours away from Thorsby, but the old girl made her out. I'm here with Blair. Blair, did he give you a number? Oh, god damn. You kidding? Yeah. It's the one in the four oh, so it's the What's the number? It doesn't. The guy doesn't even know the number of his storage box. They're, they're double sided buildings. Is it the, Is it in between the two, or is it on the outside towards back? Yeah. He, he doesn't have. Facing the highway, I would assume it was over there then. He doesn't know the number, I like. Gas prices are crazy. Okay, there's two walkers in the front Yeah. So it's the one on the... Okay, I get you now. Feels like, we're cr feels like we're committing some kind of crime here. There's no number on the key or nothing? They wouldn't have changed the lock on you, would you? You got her. <laughs> Yay! Okay, it was the wrong locker. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Lots of room for that. We crap. were trying on the other side, there, like on the, the side side. I right. Move my truck there. Well, we managed to get pretty much everything in. There's a mattress and uh, something else we couldn't do, but that's all good. Lost a little bondo in the Ford, eh? Solid. Look what the thing's tied up to, dude. The piece that fell off my truck. <laughs> that's not gonna last two seconds. <laughs> so according to this hardware store, we're in Mayor Thorpe. Blair is buying around a pizza. There's her mess. So whatever falls out stays out. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, we're safe. Look at that. And just like pros. So now I see why Blair was so quick to uh, want to come and help me. He's got a little squeeze here in um, Mayor Thorpe. So I'm just letting him do his thing. We just had lunch. He put lunch. So. So check this out. I was hooking up these straps to my wheel well, figuring, ah, that's going to be good. But no, no. My truck's ruined. Just ruined. We'll let Blair do his thing. I'm just going to have myself some lunch. Or finish my lunch, I should say. Chicken burger, some fries. Like that's a generous amount of chicken. 
for a sandwich. Very generous. Little update on Cash here. Look at him go. We've been walking every day, three times a day. Started walking five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Now we're doing 20 minutes. It's a good boy. He's not he's not a hundred percent yet, but we're getting there. Alright? A little hard work. Cash, use your leg. Use your leg. I gotta remind him. Use your leg. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. My street there's too much action on it. I walk my street at uh, like two in the morning where all the kids, there's nobody around. During the day, there's just way too many distractions for him. Come on. Use your leg. Good boy, good boy, good boy. Okay, we'll make it to the main road there and you'll get a treat, buddy. I'll give you a treat. Slowly but surely, we'll be back to normal. Better than normal, eh? Oh, oh. bionic. What are we doing? Pooping? Peeing? Just checking shit out? Oh, that's somebody else's poop. Yuck. Use your leg. <laughs> he wants out of there real fast. Let's go. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. I got you all tied up like a prisoner, eh, buddy? Not used to saying that, but he can't be running around like a madman, because he would. It's better than the cage, eh, buddy? Yeah, I've been letting him out, like just out of the cage, not running around, but just out. Poor guy's been through a lot. Sorry, but she's too cute. She was just basking in the sun like two seconds ago. The fall's coming. Hey, Scrappy. Enjoying some sun, eh, buddy? Tear into the sun. <laughs> Spoiled much? It's too cute, eh? Anyway, check out my spaghetti squash. All this. From two seeds, that's two plants. So we're gonna have a lot of spaghetti squash to give away, that's for sure. It's insane, like, it's going back there, back there. We had too much last year, we're gonna have even more of this year. Cutie cat, it's growing all in there, it's taking over. Well, anyway, at the end of this season, I had to take all this earth out again. It'd be my second time. Yeah, we got ripped off last year. What did I pay? Like 200 bucks for earth. And Buddy said, yeah, it's virgin earth. But, uh, no, no. It was canola. Canola earth. So the canolas took over. Like, it's just insane. We tried to save it, but it's impossible. So, yeah. Dig all this up and start over next year. Sting on top of the raspberries. Now Shelly froze a whole bunch. Give a bunch away. Like that's our raspberry bush. That's huge. Check this out. Hopefully it's not too dark in there, but uh oh. Just drying out my my tomatoes, as they say. Autoflowers. Kick butt. Like this thing is huge, you can't even tell. You can't even tell how huge. <laughs> Big ol' stinky. Like, don't, don't get me wrong, this one's huge too. But compared... Crazy. Still at it, eh buddy? Uh -uh. 